make thousands of dollars with items resting in your home. You may not know, but you may be holding treasures that you can bring good wealth. Well, the word treasure can be over-exaggerated, but still, you can make good money from some things that are lying at your home, and you think of them as junk. Here we will discuss of such items that are worth more money than you can imagine. Your old Game Boy. The console that was a hit with kids as well as young adults were Game Boys that came out in the early 89. It was an upscale toy that every kid wanted to have in their hands. It's now been over three decades, and now you will not find the original console in any toy store. But there are fans for such classics, which are still trying to pay a premium price for the original Game Boy. And the resale market of these lost games are now high. So if you have an old Game Boy in your house collecting dust, you can make anywhere from $750 and it goes up to $2,500. One guy held an unopened Game Boy and listed it for sale on eBay in 2019 and soon found a buyer who bought it for $4,000. The old cookie jar. You may not look at an old cookie jar in your closet or rarely use it, but you may not know its actual worth. It could be an antique cookie jar that could date back a few decades and thus stands as a collectible. You do not have to take our word for it, listen to the experts. Rain Hirsch is an antique evaluator and estimates that any cookie jar dating back to the 1950s can be worth about $1,500. But there's even more value to these cookie jars and anyone can hit the jackpot. In 2019, a seller sold a little Audrey cookie jar on eBay for a whopping $3,400. Not bad, right? Vintage Perfumes Well, when it comes to perfumes, sometimes it's not the branded bottle you relish on the outside, but what is on the inside that is worth a lot. Well, at least when we talk about vintage perfumes, we are mostly concerned about what is outside. The 1900s was an era of perfume flasks, and you may get a surprise if your late grandmother has left you with one of these perfumes. You will find such antiques selling on eBay to thousands of dollars. According to Eric Silver, who is an antique roadshow evaluator, you can bag more than $8,000. VHS tapes. It's 2020. Even DVDs are out with the emerging Netflix world. So it is safe to assume that you were now paying little heed to the VHS tapes you had when you were young. For all you know, these tapes may not be in the same closet that you've left them at years back. We suggest going and checking your VHS collection. These VHS tapes can bring you some good money. The best VHS tapes are ones that never made it to DVD or digital format, so hold more value for the buyers. You can make a good earning selling such old tapes of yours, so check your cupboards. Old Band T-Shirts Vintage band t-shirts are worth a large stack of money as symbols of one of the best times in music chronicles. The famous Nirvana tour T in utero sold for as high as $7,000. But this is not as big of an amount as you can get for such t-shirts. In 2011, a seller put a t-shirt for sale that was original and dated back to the 1970s. What made the shirt the most valuable was that it was the cover album of Yesterday and Today, banned by the Beatles in 1966. While well, the seller put the t-shirt for a whopping $20,000 and soon made the sale. Google Christmas Ornaments People get Christmas ornaments as gifts, one of two things can occur. Toss it into a storage case or decorate your Christmas tree and have it on there many years later. But there's a third option of getting online and sell these to make good money. While sleds can sell for nearly $100, you can sell glass ornaments for up to 2000 If you have Kugel ornaments from Germany between 1840 and the origin of the 1940s, you could sell them for nearly $18,000. So the next time you throw away those Christmas decors, keep them safe as you never know what they might bring you in the future. Pokemon Cards We loved Pokemon as kids and had our vast stacks of cards. Now if you've thrown or lost those old collections, you may have lost a fortune. How much are we talking about here? Well, the first edition of Charizard 1999 made its way on eBay in 2019. The seller made $12,500 for the collection. So are you regretting trading or letting go of such cards? One seller even posted a rare 2001 Tropical Wind Trophy asking $500,000. Vintage Advertising Signs Long before the internet, shops and businesses relied on advertising signs that hung from pubs, cafes, and shops. Today, such signs can sell for a lot of cash. If you find it hard to believe, you can check out the one seller sold a Coca-Cola vintage sign in 2019 on eBay for a cool $5,700. So, 
If you have something like this buried under the piles of scrap in your garage, we suggest that you start digging. Apple iPod first generation. If you hold the original iPod first generation, you can make good money from these old Apple electronics. One old iPod got listed on eBay in July of 2019 and was instantly paid for by a buyer for a cool $2,200. But some have even sold the first generation versions for over $15,000. We have a strong feeling that with passing times, the value will increase further. So a word of advice, hold on to your first generation original iPod. Old CDs. We all remember our beloved CDs that are more ancient than fossils when it comes to music today. And while you may feel sorry to see your CDs dying away in your closet, they may be worth a lot of money. One lucky guy sold his 1993 Signature Series by Michael Jackson for $1,500, and the same is the price for the 1998 Protection EP by Coldplay. So you may never know, but those old CDs of some of the best music bands of yesteryears will make you some quick bucks for sure. Old Coins you should pay more attention to those old coins you have as a kid and never knew much about the value of, but those coins buried in your old stuff can sell for some good dollars. In 2007, a dealer at Rare Collectibles in Pennsylvania, Jeff Beitelman, discovered a stash of coins going back 200 years and got a valuation at $200,000. Likewise, in 2005, some coins made it to the market with the engraving of In God We Rust. While the quarters went back, few made it into people's hands and now sell for $100 a coin. Costume Jewelry While it is indeed true that diamonds are real money makers, other things can also bring you some cash. Old costume gems appreciated a considerable amount of money, so get them evaluated before you stash away the aged ornaments, thinking of them as outdated jewelry having no use. For instance, Elsa Shirapirelli, an Italian fashion designer, made $2,000 selling antique jewelry and many such ornaments sell on eBay for around $5,000. Most recently, a seller put for sale 20th century chunky collars and rubber braces on sale on eBay. It got into the auction and went for over $16,000. China Sets Many people have old china sets that are lying in the far corners of the kitchen cabinets for years. You'll be surprised, but many households still have these dinner sets that date back to the 30 to 50 years ago. Today, the market has many cheap imitations of the original china sets. Yet, if you happen to have one that dates back a few decades, you can put it for sale online and soon you'll have collectors knocking at your door, giving you an excellent price for something you thought meant nothing. The Cuckoo Clocks We've seen these in old movies where a small bird emerged from a clock and sang a sweet melody. Well, the cuckoo clock dates back to 1730, where it was a common household item in Germany. Today, you may find these vintage items in a garage sale where the clueless seller auctions the clocks at throwaway prices. If you search eBay or look at some online sales of these clocks, you'll see that some of these clocks made more than $2,000 for their sellers. Next time when you're at a neighbor's garage sale, be quick to grab the cuckoo clock. Stamps well, everyone who has a hobby collects old things may or may not go for having a stamp collection. Those who held on to the old stamps are the lucky ones, as some of these fantastic collections make more money than most collectibles. So how much are these vintage stamps worth? Well, in August of 2019, a set of these stamps made the seller nearly $90,000. But that is not as these collections can go up to hundreds of thousands. While you may see these stamps as old pieces of paper, it could be a fantastic artifact for a collector who may be willing to pay you a lot. So hold on to your stamp collection. You never know when you can start earning thousands of dollars selling these old stamps. Rocking Chair The old rocking chairs can go for a lot, especially if you have a vintage one from the 1700s that makes its way to your living room from one generation to another. It seems that rocking chairs have more meaning than just as a tool to help babies sleep. Such pieces of furnishings were produced in the 1700s and are still standing today in various living rooms and porches. And boy, for those of you who still own one, we have good news. You can sell this antique chair and make a lot of money. Don't believe us? Put one online selling sites and see the magic. You can sell old chairs anywhere from $5,000 to $7,000. Now when you eye an antique chair, don't think of it as another piece of junk, but as a treasure that can fetch you some quick bucks. Typewriters If you have an old version typewriter that your grandfather had back in his days, you may be sitting on a gold pot. You will find it interesting that an automatic typewriter Branford House Antiques went for sale and a buyer paid $7,500 for it. Are you impressed? Well, hold on, there's more. 
The Malling Hansen Writing Ball is one of the most expensive antiques and sits at a price of about $100,000. So while you may see an old typewriter as a machine gathering rust, you can look for sellers and fill your pockets with substantial cash. Vintage Comics Well, if as a kid you had your collection of retro comic books, time to search the comic collection as you might make some good money selling these to vintage comic enthusiasts. You can even get these old comics appraised to learn the value of the old comics that you never gave a second thought about. How much did The Incredible Hulk's first comic book make at the auction held in 2014? A whopping $320,000. We can imagine you are now running for your old comic books, and we can't blame you. If you have a comic book from the past that has made it to a big movie production house, you're in luck. Comic books that become mainstream movies will attract more buyers, enabling you to charge a premium for your old stuff.